We just got the 10 gallon hat from Fluke the Whale, which means we'll have a little scene of the hogfish rustlers. All right. What about cake? Will you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. Yeah. We got the hat unstuck from between your teeth. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. You're welcome. Yeah, have a very nice day, Fluke. Now, instead of heading off to this area, I am going to go back to uh, the wood people. Um, keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. Hmm. Yes, sir. A suspicious message. Oh. <clears throat> oh, hi, kids. Hello. I wonder what message he's sending. Hmm. Yes, yes. Anyway. We have the piece of wood for these guys, which means we can trade it for the screwdriver. Here, can you use this piece of wood for your floor? Say, that looks about right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. This guy's not very good at hammering, is he? Our work here is done. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. I've heard of hammerhead sharks before, but that was a little ridiculous. Can we have the screwdriver now, please? Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks. Fantastic. Let's go over here to the left. Aha, uh -huh. and here is Gil Barker. Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheelnut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddie Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go! Therefore I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great. Gil was a character in the previous game. He worked at a carnival. What's this piece of paper you dropped, Gil? Friendly reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. Hmm. That's an awfully strange poem. Awfully strange indeed, I would say. Well, we have three purple sea urchins. We can buy a nut. Let's do that. We have three purple sea urchins. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. 
certainly. Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle fit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Yes. Here's another purple sea urchin towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple sea urchin before the fabulous fickle fit wheel nut is all yours. We have one purple sea urchin. Let's use it. Here's the last purple sea urchin for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. We here at Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut believe that customer service is our primary business. I think we need one in this shape. I could be wrong. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Let's buy another wheel nut. I don't think we need one. All right, let's keep going. Good evening, sir. May I interest you in? You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I I've got a really big deal uh, about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big. I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is. It's real good. <sighs> Hmm, well that seems suspicious as well. It looks like he's got some sort of underhanded deal going on. Well, let's go over here to the left. We have a cave which is filled with jellyfish. You want to go across at the correct time. Ouch! There must be a way to get by. If you go across at the incorrect time, you'll get stung like right there so now oh oh good timing good timing we freddy made it. i knew we could do it good good so let's Look, grab this freddy, a purple sea urchin we're rich and we'll grab this it's a crank handle what's it doing here all by itself Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah, I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. Yeah, it is weird. Uh, that should be attached on a wheel. <laughs> um, okay, let's leave. What's in this direction? Oh, we, we have a, a fish and we can't get past this fish. Wow, that's amazing. You should see my brother. So that's going to be a puzzle. We need to find an item which will let us get past that puffer fish. Well, let's head back to uh, the areas we've been to already. I think we can use this. We can definitely use this nut to help with the mail. So where was that mail? I think it was over here. Yes, it was. All right, I guessed correctly. <laughs> Let's see if I've got the right nut. I'll use it here. Perfect! 
We did it. It's fixed. And it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there. Don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Spoops him something awful. What's he got against glue? one of the items we need for the belt buckle. Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. Thank you. Great, great. That's perfect. And I think I'll finish by going over here. The last area we haven't been to yet. This one. This is where we'll use the crank we just found. See, we have this porthole. Gee, there's a porthole. Let's try to get over there. Freddy and Luther can't reach it. We can't get in there. The water level is too low. To raise the water level, we need to pull on this rope using the crank we just got. Goes right over here. There! It fits perfectly! I knew that handle belonged somewhere. So, push it! Here, let me help! We did it, Luther! Why is the room spinning? It's not, Luther. You are. Oh, that's better. <laughs> Alright, so now we can get inside that porthole. Hooray! 